Um, okay, so we're going to write into this file, file.txt. You can go ahead and create that on your desktop if you want, but this is what we're going to write into, file.txt. So obviously we're going to need two data is defined. We can go ahead and define them. Um, file.txt. This is another one you want to, I think they're called zero terminating strings. You just terminate them with an empty byte. And then A175. We're going to write into it yo Bob. We don't need a string terminator because it won't work anyways. So mob ah 3d. This is for opening a file. And opening a file is really important. So ALs, how do we want to open the file? One is opening it for writing. Mob dx 150. That's the file we're going to open. Int 21. What opening a file does with this is create a file handler. And our file handler is what we need when we write our file. So let's go ahead. And it sends our file handler to the AX register. So let's go ahead and move it into the SI register so we can use it later. So what this did, 3D's function opening files. AL1 just says we want to open it for writing. And this 50 is where we're going to open file.txt. And then it sends that to the handler it returns to the AX register. And we're moving to SI. Now mob AH40. 40 is for writing files function for writing files. Now it needs its file handler in BX. And that's where it searches for its file handler. So we're going to go ahead and put SI into there. Now mob CX, how many bytes do you want to write? Well what it's going to do, when we tell mob DX where do we want to get the bytes right? We're going to say 175. When we gotta specify how many bytes we want it to write and that's important. Because if we write five bytes, it's going to write one. Whoops. Whoa. Just pasted something in there by accident. But five bytes. One, two, three, four, five. It, from starting at 175, it'll write all five of these bytes. But if I tell it to write six bytes, it's going to write one byte after here, which would be just some random character. Remember how I said all the values after that are usually under 20, which means. Once it writes our file, we're going to get a whole bunch of random characters. So what we want to do, we want to specify starting at 175, you'll exactly 5 bytes, which is all of these. And if you don't want to get too specific, what you can do is say, let's say if you want to say 10 bytes, you can put a whole bunch of spaces after it. And that will just read to 10 bytes, which is probably like right here. And it will just have some spaces after it. But what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and say, CX, how many bytes do you want to write? We're going to say 5. Remember, we moved our file handler into SI, and now we just moved it into BX, which is a function 40 for writing a file. All reading and writing files, all that requires a file handler. So we move, and that's BX. So we moved S, our file handler, which we moved into SI. Now we move it into BX. Now we specify how many bytes we want to write, and the CX is 5. Now DX 175, where we're getting our bytes from, which is right at 175. Now int 21 to execute that, int 20 to leave. Now let's assemble this. Let's run test. Now when you open this, it's going to say yo bob inside because you successfully wrote to a file. Now, um, something else I want to say. Remember how I said if you try to write more than five bytes, because this is five characters, more than five bytes is going to go over it. I want to show you. Let's write seven bytes. Now test. Now when I open this, it's going to say "Yo, Bob," and have these two characters. That's because there are actually spaces now. Um, but sometimes if we write, see how it has two characters after it? Because right now they're just probably these are probably just zero zero. 
defined as nothing. Um, that could the reason it wrote two characters after because we write seven bytes. So it searched two spaces after Bob. But if we say like go something all the way up to like 100. Now look. It's going, it now after it spread Bob, it started reading so many characters after it. It started getting all these strange values and it tried to convert them to characters. It just completely didn't know what to do and just con got a whole bunch of random characters and it tried to convert them. What, what I mean by converting is, you know, 38 the hex of uh, the 8 character. If it gets something like 43 it's going to convert that to a hex or to an ASCII or a binary which is the hex character representing it so when it got all these strange values it thought it read them as hex values but they weren't hex values so it wrote a whole bunch of random stuff into your file so you want to make sure to write the bytes either exact such as five characters five bytes or let's say I think this will work. You don't really know what the exact is. Just put a whole bunch of spaces after it. And then go up to here and just say like not something too outrageous like maybe 20. Test. Now we open this. I think 20 was too far. There we go. See? Yo, Bob, New Line, Orange, but then a whole bunch of spaces. We just put the spaces because we didn't feel like actually counting how much bytes this with this is. Which remember this is five, this is six, seven, orange is six characters, so it's thirteen. That's thirteen bytes. But we didn't feel like counting that, so we just said, okay, it's around twenty, and we put a whole bunch of spaces. But like I said, if you want to be very exact, we can actually get some kind of character counter or something like that. And then we could actually, like I said, I just counted them and said it was 13 bytes. Oh, and the reason it. Never mind. Just, there we go. Yo, Bob, see? Not as much spaces after it. Because. Um. The reason there still was spaces after it, because 13 is not equal to 13. Um, you want to Google binary translator. Binary translator. Now, see here it says hex. You want to go to right here. Um, decimal, and you want to write 13 and hit decode. Now, when it puts 13 over here, she's 0D, that's the hex of 13. 0D. And so 13 is actually equal to 19. So it wrote 19 characters, and we type in 13. But as we saw, 0D is actually equal to 13. So if we try 0D instead, I don't, let me run that, test, now as you can see, oh, I got to clear the file first before I can write to it. As you can see, no spaces after it, because 0D is 13 bytes. Um, so that's just 
basic tutorial on writing files, next one will be on reading files. It's not that much different, but still pretty different.